hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if it's your first time welcome if you're an old subscriber welcome back in this video i just want to share with you how i made this beautiful fascinator this beautiful crinoline fascinator for a bride i actually documented the procedure and i thought i should share with you right here on this channel i have my blocked base i blocked this i molded this with a paper mat and then um, i stiffened it and it's dry i took off the pins which i use in keeping the material to the block to the art block after taking off the pins i find a way of pushing out the hat block in it it's actually a wooden object yes yeah, so i just found a way of pushing it out and then um, this is what i have so i'm going to use my scissors to trim off this excess What I have with me is called the millinery wire or art wire. Okay, I have the strong one right now and I'm going to cut out what I need to wire my base. So I just took my heart block, I measured it around to get the exact measurements. You know, this is the exact art block I used in making the base. So what I have was about 31 inches, so I added 2 to 2.5 inches extra. For the wire to overlap so that is the measurement i used in cutting out my hat wire After cutting out the wire, I just place the two ends on top of each other. You know, the extra 2.5 inches allowance, okay? I just use that, place that them on top of each other, and I use my thread to tie it. You can actually use a paper tape to join the ends of the wire together. So I'm going to fix it to my base, as you can see. Then I use my alt glue to fix the base, that's the folded part of the base and the wire together like that. So this is what we have. So I used my clip to actually hold them the wide end so that they stay in place while it dries. My crinoline is about 7 inches wide and I have about 5 yards. Okay, most crinoline come with one side, that's this white crinoline, one side of it has this thread in it. So I just push the thread away from the edge and I gather up the edge like that and tie it with my thread. Okay, I just found a way of pushing out the thread, then I used the same thread to create some um, gathers. I just pulled it like that to gather up the crinoline, but I don't usually like working with the thread that came with the crinoline or that comes with the crinoline most times, especially if I'll be working on um, a crinoline that is very, very long. Okay, this is about five years, so it might actually cut midway. I don't usually like using the thread you might actually cut and you need to start all over again so this is one option you can either use the thread it needs to pull like that to gather it up or you use your needle and thread okay i changed my mind and then uh, i used needle and thread to to sew the stitches from one end to the other end remember i said this screen is about five years so i just created my piece like that from the beginning to the end of the crinoline Through the wastelands, through the 
Now, before I got to the end of the crinoline, I just wanted this part of the fascinator to be smaller or the width. I just wanted the width of the crinoline to be smaller at this point. So I folded in the crinoline a little before I continued to sew the stitches till I got to the end. So on getting to the end of the crinoline, I repeated the same procedure I did from the beginning. I used my thread to tie the end. So I've gathered up my crinoline and I've tacked with my needle and thread properly. I just took my needle and thread over and over again just to make sure that it is well secured. Then the next step is for us to attach this to our fascinator base. Okay, so when attaching to our fascinator base, I made sure I used the same color of thread. At this point, some may decide to use fishing line. Fishing line is actually fine, but if you can do invisible tacking, then it is advisable to use matching color of thread. Invisible tacking requires that you take back your needle through almost the same hole the, the thread came out from the first time or why you tack like that. So that way your thread will not really be visible. That's if it's going to be visible at all. So I've tacked it to my base and now I'm going to do the inner finishing. With the help of my UHU glue, I'm going to use the bias strip to cover the inner part of the base. Now take a look at the part where I joined the crinoline to the base. Can you see that the thread is not visible? Is it visible at all? It's not. Okay, so you need to know how to do invisible tacking. And then finally, I'm going to be attaching my headband. I'll be using my Harley's band and with my glue, I'll be doing this. So what you just need to do is to place the Harley's band on your mannequin head. Then place your fascinator where you want it to be, either to your left or to your right. Just mark exact, the exact point you want your fascinator to be sitting as you can see i have to just hold it down to the fascinator base till it is dry so that it will stay like that okay just make sure it stays like that because if i use needle and thread to tack this part to the i mean the alice band to the base is going to be shown on the upper part of the fascinator I was actually told to make an exact design sent to me so i wouldn't want to alter it because if it requires me tacking the alice band to the base then we have to thread train on the upper part i will need to cover it with something to embellish it you understand so i just decided to use my glue and now with the uh glue i'm folding the edges of my piece of paper mat that i cut out 
just for me to cover the part where I have both the Halis band and the base joined together. And so at uh, this junction, I uh, will need to call it a day. We've come to the end of today's tutorial. As you can see, I'm just using a rose to cover the back part. It is actually optional because of the way I actually tacked the crinoline to the base. It's not, uh, we don't have anything that is not meant to be seen from the outside, but just for it to make it look more beautiful. If you are yet to subscribe, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in our next video. Bye.